Hi, I'm Sakit. This is video tutorial 2. Here we will discuss the configuration of Ogre 3D with Visual Studio 2008. And let's proceed. This tutorial web page will give us all necessary setups steps to configure our project in visual studio and still i'm doing this video tutorial because i think video tutorial will give more visual manner to make anything understandable for the beginners let's just start here we have our visual studio 2008 and through files new project we will create a new project make sure you're in visual c++ Win32 and then Win32 projects make the location as per your choice. My choice is this one, and I will give my application name as test app and then okay now here next check empty project and then finish fine here in the project two folders header files and source files is quite important for us till now for this video tutorial we are going to add our files here only and I would suggest you to download some zip file from this link so that okay so that you will get some necessary files of .h and .cpp extension yeah extract here extract here and now yeah please copy these files base application .cpp .h and tutorial applications .cpp .h and paste it to your project yeah fine now we need to add these files here right click add add existing items and then base application dot h tutorial application dot h and then add and in source folder existing files base application dot cpp tutorial application dot cpp and dad fine come to project right click come to properties and here we need to do all the configuration settings fine now come to tutorial page and copy this path from here the page web page and make it paste over here in output directory has done in intermediate directory we need to give the 
path as this for object and make sure the character set will be multi byte character set make it apply come to debug back to tutorial page i'm copying command command argument then walking directory <coughs> then our path for environment environment variable as we had done our environment variable in video tutorial part 1 we don't need to worry about the configuration settings of our environment variable in operating system make it apply fine oh no i need to do all these settings in all configuration please don't mistake like this it will create a blunder and you need to do the same work again as I'm facing right now make sure it will be multi byte character set apply come to debug command argument Working directory and path of environment variable. Make it apply. Fine. Now come to C and general. Here we need to give additional include directories copy the complete one make it paste apply it fine come to linker general and here what we need to give is additional library directories fine Make it paste over here. Make it apply. Fine. In debug, in debug option, make it debug mode. And in debug mode, we need to do click input. What we need to do is giving need to give additional dependencies. Additional dependencies are basically your lib files responsible for your application fine i had done it these underscore d are the are to present these libraries are concerned for debug and make it apply and in release we need to do additional dependencies as our responsible library files as this one here and underscore d is not there make it apply debug in release mode your debugging info should be no make it apply ok now your configuration of your project ogre 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 application ogre 3d application within visual studio 2008 has done but still i would suggest you to make some recompiled header files so that your application will run faster 
after your first execution or after your first build fine i am leaving this tutorial till now and in the next tutorial we will discuss to configure precompile header files within our project and make it run completely so goodbye